What it do, what it was, what it has been. It's your girl Q, and today we're going to be doing a quick weave. I've never done a quick weave before, but um, the way y'all been making these quick weaves look, I might have to hop on this train choo too because, yeah, I want to ride. Bobby Boss hair. It's their Forever New Collection. I got two colors. I got 1B and then I got 27. I kind of want to layer it and do highlights. The 1Bs are 18 inches and then they didn't have 18 inch in this color. The fuck? So I had to get it in 16 but I think it'll still be cute. This hair was $14.99 at my beauty supply store. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you just see me all in my scalp because I'm getting the hair under your hair that you bought. It's important. Then I'm going to put on my wig cap. You see me running my mouth. Oh, this because I'm trying to call my dog to me. And it's her. Hi, bud. You're crazy self. You took your bow out. You only got one bow. That's fast. You just left. Don't know what's going on. Okay, 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 okay. All right, sorry. Back to the quick weed. Okay, see, yeah, this ain't work. I don't know why. What the? F this bitch don't but it write. Ain't work. So <laughs> I had to use a white eyeliner pencil, which was a lot better. Um, as you can see, I messed up on the tracing, but it really doesn't matter as long as you have a general outline of where your leave out is, then you'll be okay. It's about to go like this. It might be easier to put it in. To squeeze in. What's thick? Like I said, this is my first quick weave, so that was me talking to my mom, and I'm like, I'm just about to pour this on my whole head. She's like, Celine, I think you should put it in the bowl first. Glad she said that because the application was a lot easier just to put in a bowl and use my hair dye brush just to kind of spread it on evenly on the cap. Then after I put the protectant all over my hair, I sat in the jar for about 15 to 20 minutes just so it could harden so that I could have a nice base to do my tracks on hair she's giving um very much yakky perm i like the texture of it because it matches my hair the bundles is baby as shit but it's okay because i bought enough so now you see me lining up the hair to where i want it to start and end on the back of my head and this is the whole process for the whole quick thing you just line them up glue it blow dry line them up glue it blow dry so that's what you're about to see me do some tips and things that I've learned from my first quick weave experience is definitely read that label on that glue. When it say 30 second bond, baby, you got 30 seconds in between. You putting that glue in your head, blowing it, and then getting it to lay on your head. Because if you miss that window of perfect, ideal tackiness of that glue, you're done. You're going to have to glue the whole thing again, and it's going to be annoying. It's basically like lashes. Um... Also, wear something that you don't care about. That's why I always wear this shirt because if it gets messed up, oh well. But the glue definitely will get everywhere. Next thing, um, I would have spaced out my tracks a lot more in the back. They did not need to be that close because now my hair is really full. And I don't like full hair. So I would probably outline where my tracks should go just so I wouldn't overdo it and have my hair be really full. But it came out cute either way. As for my faux highlights, there wasn't any real, you know, methods I was putting it in my head. I was just putting it in my head. Maybe like every fourth or third track, I would place like a track of the colored hair in my head, but it really was just random. So now we at the top of my head and now I can clearly see the absolute what the fuckness I done did to my head because this bitch is not even even it doesn't matter you know what mind your business because just mind your business this is my first try leave me alone I'm 
so upset because now I'm just realizing that my camera didn't get any of the footage of me cutting away my cat but for starters I just cut a little hole at the top where my Levi was please be careful and do not cut your braid please be careful so I did a little small cut and kind of let my hair poke through just so I could see where my leaf out stopped once I got closer towards the top of my hair and then I just went ahead and cut all the excess wig cap off so that I had full access to my leaf out and I can go ahead and attend to that first thing I do which I did off camera was put in my heat protecting spray just so that my natural doesn't get you know fucked up and burnt and crispy from all the heat I'm gonna put in there I went ahead and blow dried it once I finished blow dried it, I parted my hair or attempted to part my hair because for the love of everything good, I cannot put my hair in the middle part. It doesn't work. I don't know if my head is lopsided, wopsided, but middle parts in me, mm -mm. so I did what I could do. Then I got my wax stick and just put it on my scalp and kind of to define my part just a little bit more because I didn't want to put any gel or anything in my hair. Then I went ahead and flat ironed my hair. I believe my flat iron was at like 400 degrees and this hair can take heat up to 380. So I would just be shifting from like 350 to 400, 350 to 400. Just blending my leave out out, um, pressing it so that it blends in with this hair. I kind of passed my flat iron through this hair a couple of more times than I want to admit. But I just wanted it to blend, so mind your business. yes this is the final look let me know what you guys think if you have any tips or anything that i should do for the next time i try this quick weave because i'm definitely doing it again let me know and thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe bye